the bass drumming is the anthem. We step to the heartbeats of our granddaughters and grandsons and rise together. We rise together. I'm Jolene Kirschman. I'm with the Chicago Coalition Against War and Racism. And we're here today to protest the eighth year of war and occupation in Iraq in particular. Um, we are also calling attention to the struggles for freedom and democracy across North Africa and mid the Middle East. We are also recognizing that there are uprisings of the working class across the Midwest, um, from Madison to Lansing, Michigan, to Columbus, Ohio, to Memphis, Tennessee, to Indianapolis, to Boise, Idaho. Um, so we are recognizing that and um, urging people to become a part of that struggle. Together we rise, 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 together we rise. Well, we still have 50,000 troops there. And the ambassador to Iraq said last week or so that um, there's just no way they're going to be back in, in 2011. In addition to the troops that we have there, we have um, at least as many or more mercenaries. We have contractors. The country is full of contract U.S. contractors. Um, just a week and a half ago, there was a day of rage in um, Iraq. The people of Iraq rose up against the U.S.-imposed regime. The regime retaliated by arresting over 300 protesters, vandalizing um, two independent media offices, disappeared three reporters, destroyed equipment in both of these uh, media offices. Um, so the, the free and democratic regime that we supposedly have imposed through eight years of war and occupation is not being met by the Iraqi people as such. Together we rise, 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 together we rise. Well, I think they're, they're all um, a, a, a demand for uh, independence, freedom, democracy abroad. Um, it's standing up to U.S. foreign policy saying, don't intervene on the top, on the side of dictators, don't intervene in the on the side of repressive governments. Um, we've seen that um, we're able to do that. There's no word when the Saudis um, come in and help put down the protesters in Bahrain. Um, so, and on the domestic side, my theory is that we have just witnessed the most massive transfer of wealth in our history. So the same empire that thrives on war also needs our wealth. Well, they've already got it. Uh, the middle class has virtually vanished and the working class is now under assault. So once they've got our wealth, they need, they cannot put up with a militant um, working class. So the next step is to attack trade unions. In particular, they're hitting the public sector trade unions and slashing what little safety net that we do have left. Um, in the sort of midst of, of slashing of the safety net, they're privatizing what else we have, and then it becomes part of um, something that can be made profit, um, profitable. So I see the connection is very close. They're um, just sort of two sides of the same coin of empire. Together we rise, 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 together we rise. Oh, I do want to also mention that um, in sort of simultaneously with the attack on public workers and organized workers, we have also seen an attack on civil liberties. We've had FBI raids on people's homes here in Chicago and in Minneapolis as well as some other places around the country. And so we see this as a, as a move to intimidate um, the anti-war movement in general and solidarity workers in particular. So we are here to um, uh, protest that and ask an end to that as well. Rise together, we rise together, we 